Hello. Hello, Marie. Yes. Hey there, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And uh, I just needed to let you know that we're uh, we're currently beaming uh, microwave uh, radiation at your home. You're doing and what? We're, we're sending microwave beams at your house. I don't and, need any of that. Well, no, it's just an experiment. Um, it's uh, We're sending it from a... I've got a microwave. I don't need any experiments like that. Oh, no, no. These are microwave beams. It's like radio frequencies. We're, we're beaming them at your house right now. Like high, I high just p- really prefer you didn't. Well, no, it's not a big deal. Um, but I, we needed to find out if your house is receiving okay. So uh, could you go over? I don't know. I don't want it. Don't send. Don't beam anything over here like that. Well, no, it's just. It's just. You can't see them. They're invisible. They're just. You know. No, these, I don't want it. I don't rays, want anything beamed in here like that. Magical rays. I really don't. But I really don't. Okay. I really don't. Well, no, we've no. Ar- we've already started, ma'am. But, um, well, you just knock it off, okay? No, man. Thank you. Th- this is important. I need your help. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Okay, bitch. Snowplow show. Roy. What? Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Turnwinder. <laughs> okay. Go, 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 shaw, go, 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 Dobelina, meow, meow, meow. Hello. Goodbye. Dobelina. <laughs> Hello. How many fingers? Roy, long shits on the toilet. Meow, meow, meow. Hello. This is the grooming manager. How can I help you? Hello. Who, 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 who the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. Oh, my wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. Yeah. Bob Dobelina. <laughs> Bob Dobelina. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Bird Fucked in the ass. Hello. Meow. Goodbye. Dobelina. Meow. Meow. Hello. Goodbye. Dobelina. This is Sensei Doug. What? Sensei fucking Doug. Who's a good boy? Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy, Westy? Is it you? Are you the good boy, Westy? Roy, Steve Dave, Bob, Bob Dobelina, go suck a dick. Roy, Steve Dave, Bob, Bob Dobelina, go suck a dick. Listen, Westy, you little shit. <laughs> Turnwinder? Okay. I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. Cactus, 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 motherfucker. Hey, everybody, this is the Snowplow Show, and I'm your host, Brad. This is episode 810. I mean, 10... And it's brought to you by Lil Uzi Vert, Sim Speak, Fieldin's Party Place, Big Mike, and Austin E. They all support the show on Patreon. Thanks, all of you. Thanks, everyone that supports the show. I have exciting news. The vinyl album is finally here, which you probably know if you follow me on anything else. But the PLA vinyl album finally arrived. I've been mailing them constantly for two weeks now. I did about 150 mailings, and then I put up the album on Bandcamp, so all you normies can order the album. And so far I have 34 orders. I feel like I'm just gonna be mailing vinyl records for the rest of my life, but that's okay, because now I'm announcing it on the Snowplow Show, which is gonna create even more. I should have just waited a week for this. But anyway, you can get the Phone Losers of America vinyl record by going to phonelosers.bandcamp.com where you can download the digital album for free, or you can buy the 12-inch vinyl version of it for a mere $15. Unless you're a Patreon, then there's a way to make it cheaper. And then the same thing goes about the brand new PLA coins that are out. I've been keeping quiet about those because I made those for the Kickstarter people, and I didn't really want them to be available until the Kickstarter stuff was finished. And now it is. So if you would like a 2023 PLA coin, go to phonelosers.bandcamp.com, and that's where you can get one. Yeah, the album's done, everybody. That's the end of this intro. I guess I could take a minute to say that we are doing a meetup this year, and by we're doing a meetup, I mean to say that we're going to be at another meetup, which is completely free to go to. It's the Vintage Computer Fair or Fest Midwest. 
It's in Chicago. I mean, it's to the, the west of Chicago, basically Chicago. I don't know how you're going to find us when you get there. It's a huge event, but why not try? Come out to the thing. It's completely free. You'll see a bunch of old computer gear and somewhere you might see a small group of nerds sitting around a cactus and chanting. Chances are that's us. Come up and say hi. Wasted even says we're getting a table there. So I guess look for the PLA table. That's going to be on September 9th and 10th. That's a Saturday and a Sunday. Be sure to wear a PLA t-shirt so you can be targeted easily. I mean, so we can come and say hello. I'm also going to try and drive down to DEF CON this year, which I just found out is $430. So I'm not going to pay for DEF CON. $440. I'm looking on their website right now. I'm just gonna try and sneak into that one. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Motherfucker. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello, are you there? It's me and your neighbor, Eugene. Eugene. Hello. Are you home? Hello. Oh, thank God you picked up. Thank God you picked up. Thank, thank the baby Jesus. Uh, I just wondering, um, did you change your Wi-Fi password? Because I'm trying to get on your Wi-Fi and it won't connect. Uh, hold on. Okay. It's a e at yahoo.com. No, I mean your Wi-Fi password. Oh, I don't know that. Oh, okay, because I, I usually use your Wi-Fi for my internet. Who are you? I'm your neighbor, Roy. I live uh, just a few houses down. Okay, hold on. I'll give you my wife. Oh, your Wi-Fi, not your wife. Hello? Hello. It's Roy, your neighbor. Yes. Uh, I I was just wondering what happened to your Wi-Fi, because usually I get on it every day, but today I can't connect to it. Oh, I, I don't know. I haven't been home. Yeah, I like to get on there and just, just watch uh, watch movies all day on Netflix. On your Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi? You're using ours? Yeah, because I don't want to pay for it for me. Uh, uh-uh. Don't you dare. What? No, I do I do it all the time. I'm not hurting anything. Find somebody else's. Why? Do not use ours. Well, no, I'm not doing, Where, any, I'm doing anything wrong. Where do you live? I Just up the road a bit. Like, you know the blue house? Yeah? Yeah. So I'm a neighbor. No. I, I just, uh, you know, I just need to use someone's Wi-Fi because I don't want to pay for it. Well, I'm sorry. You're not going to be using ours. Well, no, I Find do. somebody else's. I do already. It's just, it's not working today. Can you move your modem? Well, that's fine. Then don't go, get on it. Well, can you move your modem a little bit closer to the window? Hello? Yes. Hello? Um, Hello. I, I just do not use ours anymore. But why not? You're not giving me a good reason. Why not? You pay for it yourself. I don't want... The- you on our internet. Yeah, but I'm not slowing it down or anything. No, I'm, I'm, I don't care. I'm just watching a lot of movies. What is your name? And doing a lot of hacking. Uh, this is Roy. What's the last name? Gerbel. How do you spell that? T H A T. Hmm. What? Um, I don't know how I can stop you. I have to figure this out. Well, but me, do not use it. Find someone else. But me, I'm yours is fa- the fastest from my house. And you know what? Don't be so cheap. Just pay for it. Uh, how much do you pay? Uh, call the internet service and find out how much it costs. No, you call them. I'll hold. Pardon? You, you call them for me. I'll hold. Well, I don't feel like calling him. That sounds boring. That's like, that's something an adult would do. Ugh. How do you spell your last name? Uh, G-E-R-B-I-L. No, get off our internet. Well, can I, can I finish this Netflix, Netflix series I'm watching? 
do not use our internet. Well, ma'am, come on. I'm, I just, Bye. I need... Okay, there's my first call of the day, and it has nothing to do with what I want to do today. So I guess I'll keep trying. I'm dialing out of a phone book, though, today. It's from Anonymous. I wrote that on the front, so they must have asked to remain anonymous. The only problem is that I can barely read this tiny text in this phone book. I'm going to have to get one of those big magnifying glasses. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello, Marvin. Marvin, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Pick up the phone. Pick it up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Marvin, it's cool. You know me. It's Roy. In the blue house. Marvin. Hello. Marvin. Hello. Oh, Marvin. Hello. How are you doing? Well, I was from the house. Heard this machine going off. What's up? Yeah, could you hear me all throughout the house? No, I just heard when I come in the house. Oh, I see. Uh, I was in your tree the other night, and I installed one of those nature cams just to watch, you know, just to watch nature. Yeah. And somebody took it. Like, who, who got up there and took it? What tree? Uh, that was the one in the back, the tall, the really big one. I used a rope to get up there. You mean all the way the back by the, the end of the property? Yeah. yeah. I just put a nature cam up there. And I don't know, somebody came along and they took it. Who the hell would do that? I don't know. I, I was just uh, trying to film things secretly up in your tree. No, oh, nobody's. On the last five acres, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, well, you know, just the, uh, up there by the by the road. The uh, mechanic road? But off to the side, yeah. Well, no. No, no, on your property on S*** Lane. No, nobody I know. I put, I put a nature cam in your yard, in that tree in your yard. Not that I know. Oh, you didn't get up there and take it down? Hell no, I ain't get up no damn tree. Well, I don't know. You answered really fast just then, and that makes you sound suspicious to me. Suspicious of what? Suspicious of stealing my nature cam. Can, can I please have my nature cam back, Marvin? First of all, I have no idea where you put the thing at. Way up Second in the tree. Second of all, you didn't have the decency to come over and ask me if it was okay. It was way high up in the tree. It was pointed down at the near the driveway. You think I'm going to climb a tree to get a nature camera? I don't know. If somebody did. Somebody got up there and stole my nature camera. Well, nobody's been climbing any trees around here that I know of. Well, I, I have. Yeah, I've been I've been climbing your trees. Well, I don't know what happened to it or where it's at. Well, shoot. I guess I have to buy a whole new one and put that up in your tree. Which tree did you put it in? The one up in front. There's a lot of them in front. Well, it's close to the road. It's one of the ones that lie in the road. You don't remember which one you did? No, I do. Because I, I uh, carved my name up in there with a knife. And just so I'd remember. You carved your name in a tree yeah, on the lake. Yeah, yeah, and I went back up there, and my carving is still there, but the nature cam is gone. Oh, well, not that I know. Yes, it is. I haven't been nowhere near any trees, and nobody else that I know would be going by the trees. You might have, like, you know, thrown up a grappling hook or something and tried to hook it and yank it down. Why would I do that? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Well, I'll tell you, here's what's going to happen. Uh-oh. I'll call the sheriff. Huh? Nothing. What? What's going to happen? First of all, you didn't have a decency to tell me that you wanted to do that. I'm telling you now. That's the first thing. Okay. Second of all, number one. 
That's all invasion of privacy. What? No. So that, that's an invasion of privacy without notifying anybody. Nature does. Nature has no right to privacy. I don't care. Listen to what I'm telling you. Okay. If you plant cameras on property that doesn't belong to you without getting permission, legally, you're spying. No, on birds? Come on. I'm, I, I know what you're looking at. I'm telling you what the law says. So, what about what about listing? Because I can hear everything that happens on your property, like the the microphone on that thing. Man, it picks up everything in your house. Yeah, there's really nothing wrong with that. I don't know where this camera's at because I had never seen it. Well, it's gone now. Somebody but, stole it. But it'd been nice of you to at least let me know where it was up there, so I could make sure nobody interfered with the tree. Okay, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna. Put up another one. I'll be there tonight about 3 or 4 in the morning. You're going to put them up at 3 or 4 in the morning? Yeah, I'm a night person. Okay. Mark the thing who put a uh, uh, <laughs> marker tape around the tree. Hey, who's that calling you with uh, Mr. Roboto? Hang on. Okay. Who is Hang it? Hang on, Michael. Who is it? So put a tape, surveillance tape around the tree so I know which tree you're doing. Okay, I'm going to put a GPS tracker on your tree, too. Whatever. Who's that calling you? Is yeah. that Michael? Yep. What's he want? He's just getting off work. He's just calling me. What's he calling you about? How do I know? What I haven't talked to him yet. What do you guys talk about usually when he calls? Nothing. Oh, come on. Don't be embarrassed. Just mark the tree. I got to talk to Michael. Okay, I'm going to put GPS on it. Okay, there's another call that I did not intend to do. These are not going well so far. Because they don't pick up. And then I have to claim that I'm their neighbor on their answering machine until they finally pick up. You've reached 4674. Leave a message. Hello, pick up your phone. Oh my gosh, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Hello? calling for mike mike are you home mike pick up pick up pick up pick up oh my gosh mike are you there mike mike troy troy who oh no just roy oh roy yeah yeah no i was kidding about being from the post office i mean i was kidding about being your neighbor i'm actually from the post office oh yeah um you're getting a new post postal carrier on monday Oh, we are? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, he's going to be, um, his name is Mr. Sage. Okay, what happened to, what's happening to the, the other young man? Uh, he's just going to be part-time because he's pregnant. He? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, like, we're not supposed to really ask questions about gender and gotcha. stuff, stuff today. Okay, oh man, I, I really like him, he's a nice guy. Is he coming back eventually, or? Oh yeah, I think so, after maternity leave. Okay, okay um, great. But the problem is, he, like, this new guy, Mr. Sage, he's, he's in a wheelchair, so you're going to need to build a wheelchair ramp up to your house. <laughs> yeah, why do I need him to build, uh, just drop it off in the mailbox? Yeah, yeah, just so he can get to the mailbox. Yeah, I mean, the mailbox is right there by the street. I know, but can, can he get to it from a wheelchair? Might need to put a little bit of a ramp there. He can get to it from uh, his, his vehicle. The, the other gentleman doesn't even come out of the vehicle. He just he has the window open, and he puts the mail right in the box. Yeah, but Mr. Sage is going to do things differently. Well, this, I mean, sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, I, I'm working two jobs. I'm really busy right now. I don't yeah, well, it's to, to comply with the Disabilities Act of... 2002. Well, and, you uh, know what? Uh, that's uh, that's how the, the post office to build it. No, no, you build it, motherfucker. Why do we have to build it? <laughs> who, who the hell is this? Uh, this is uh, Big Mike from the post office. Oh, wait, no, your I name is who, Mike. Yeah, I don't know who Big Mike is. Do I know you? Well, I'm Big Mike. No, I work at the post office. 
Yeah, how, I, I don't know. Yeah, me. <laughs> Is this a gag? No, it's not a gag. If you need to be in, in compliance by Monday with that wheelchair ramp. Uh, okay, this is pretty funny. Oh, no, it's not funny. It's not going to be funny when you get a ticket. A ticket for what? Well, you know, a fine from the city. Oh, uh, 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 up and down the street here, there's no ramps. There's no ramps. At David hey, Chase, hey, no- hey, hey, don't you worry about them. I have to call yeah. them next. Hey, I'm, I'm telling you right. I'm telling you right now. Uh, I, I know better. But thanks for calling. Bye. You, you know better than what? All right, another one thwarted by the mailboxes that are out by the street. I'm not looking at these houses before I call them on Street View, so I guess that's what I get for not checking first. Anyway, I was hoping to do some uh, more wheelchair ramp pranks. And I'm using the exact same phone, well, not the exact same phone book. It's updated by a couple of years because the guy who sent it to me before sent me a new version. Hello? Hello, Donald? Yes? It's Steve Day from the post office. Um, okay. Did, did you get the letter that you're getting a new carrier on Monday? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's in a wheelchair. You're going to need to put up a wheelchair ramp up to your front door why uh so you know if he has to bring up a package he can get up there just like any other person uh i'll think about it okay goodbye oh no you don't get a choice sir yes i understand yes bye okay well hey what does he mean he'll think about it if he understands this ain't no democracy you just do what the post office tells you to hello please leave a message after the tone Randy? It's Roy, your neighbor. Hello, are you there? Randy? Randy? Randy, pick up the phone. Randy? Randy? Randy, you motherfucker. Hello? Oh, hello, hello. Ran- Randy. Yeah. Oh, thank God you picked up. That was a close one. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, I was in your backyard last night. And uh-huh. I hooked, I, I brought, um, I got one of those, I went to a garage sale and somebody was selling one of those lineman's handsets phones where I could just plug into people's phones on the outside of their house. Yeah. And uh, I did that to your phone last night and I was able to dial long distance. Okay. What do I do? I don't know. What do you do? Well, I'm, I'm letting you know, like you should put a lock on that thing. It's just anybody can just open it up and start making phone calls. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Okay, well, I was able to call 900 numbers, just so you do. Okay. I didn't stay on with them for very long. All right. You're a very indifferent man, Randy. Mm Mm-hmm. What are you doing today? Nothing. What's that mean? I'll talk to you later. What do you mean, nothing? What are you hiding? Well, that was boring. Hello? Please. Hello? Hello, ma'am. I was calling for Matt. This is Steve Day from the post office. Wait, wait, sir. What? Matt? What? Yeah. There's no Matt here. Hey, don't you be yelling at me, and you tell that dog in the background to shut up. Hey, you know what? Does Mm. F-O mean anything to you? Bye. Does what? Ass phone? Hey, you know what? Does F-O mean anything to you? Asphalt? Is that what she's saying? I mean, I guess she was just saying asshole, but she's just so out of practice with her cursing that she doesn't even know how to say it anymore. Let that be a lesson to you, kids. Practice your curse words so you don't sound like an idiot when you have to use them. You should practice those curse words an hour a day, because in real life, you're liable to get your ass kicked if you start talking to people about their asphalt. I found that out the hard way. Hey, hello. Hello, Vernon. Yeah. Hey, it's Steve Dave from the post office. From where? The post office. Yeah. And we noticed you don't have a wheelchair ramp up there yet. Because we're getting a wheel we're getting a new postal carrier and he's in a wheelchair. And what and 
Did so you, what do you want me to do? Well, can you build a wheelchair ramp up to your front door uh, by Monday? Because he starts on Monday. My mail carrier comes in a truck. Yeah, but you're getting a new one. The guy that comes in the truck, he's just going to, he's switching over to part-time in your neighborhood. But the new mail carrier, he's in a wheelchair. And we can't discriminate just because he's in a wheelchair. We need to build wheelchair ramps. And, you know, make make it accessible for him. Well, there, you would have to go through the people that own the property in order to do that. Oh, no, no, nope. It's, it's up to you. You need to get this done, Vernon. I don't need a ramp. Uh, yes, you do. If you want to get your, if you want to get your mail. Well, my mail, I go to the post to the mailbox and pick it up. Well, sometimes you get a package though. Every once in a while. And plus, you know what? What if the UPS driver? He's in a wheelchair. Well. You need to stop arguing, Vernon. Get that wheelchair ramp made. I I don't need a wheelchair ramp, and there's no place to put it. Yeah, but uh, Douglas, he he needs one. Pardon? Douglas, he's your new postal carrier. He needs a wheelchair. No, thank you. Bye. Sir. I heard some commotion in the background. I don't know if that was dogs or prisoners he's got tied up over there. Hello. Hey. Richard. Hey, what? Listen here, buddy. This is Michael from the post office. Oh, okay. And, and you don't have a wheelchair ramp on your house. No. You better get that fixed. Why? Well, because you're going to have a, a disabled postman working for you on Wednesdays. Uh, what are you talking about? Your new postal carrier. His name is Skip. And he is going to be in a wheelchair when he delivers your mail. So you just need to get a post. You, you need to get one of You don't of the, have to get out of the truck. Well, what if he has to bring up a package, buddy? Put it in the mailbox. No, no. He'll he'll bring it up to the house like any other human being. I, I uh, understand that, but you think I'm going to build one? Yes. Yeah, you better. You need be you need to be compliant by Wednesday of of this coming Wednesday. Wednesday. I'll stand one, out there and take it. One week from today. Okay. No, you can't be Have out. Added. You can't be out there every day. You need to be compliant with the law, sir. I'm compliant with the law. No, you need to be compliant with the law. Okay. You know arrest. With, with, what? You're gonna arrest arrest me? No, sir, because I am not a police officer. Durr. Okay. I just okay. work here at the post office. That's all. I'm sorry. Well, we'll see what happens. Why are you being a dick about it? You know, I'm what, not a dick about it. What if you were in a wheelchair? Who the hell you are? What if you were in a wheelchair that you couldn't deliver the mail because nobody has wheelchair ramps up to their house? Oh, he hung up. I hope he wasn't actually in a wheelchair. Sorry, sir, if you were. I'm going to have to call it quits on this one because... Well, I mean, for one thing, it's getting way too late over there to be calling from the post office. They probably closed about an hour ago. So I'm going to try again in this phone book another day and try and do a post office show. And hopefully it's as easy as it used to be. Maybe if I call earlier in the morning. But these are landlines. They probably get called all the time by telemarketers and scammers. I did want to try back this one thing, though, because... Okay, so I flipped open this phone book, and the very first thing I saw was... A uh, building elevator phone for a something something residence. I don't know if it's like an old person home or just regular apartments. But the apartments are listed here in the phone book. But then right underneath it, it says the building elevator phone number on it. And I, I don't know. That's just weird. I've never seen it in a phone book before. But as you know, every elevator in the United States is supposed to have a working telephone number in it so that they can be called from the outside in an emergency, which means if you have the phone number, a lot of times you can just listen to the elevator and talk to people that come on and try to use it. So anyway, yeah, let's try this phone number and see if there are any emergencies happening in the elevator. Hello, is anybody there? 
So it doesn't look like anybody's there right now. But I have heard people coming and going, like coming through some front doors and talking to each other. But they just didn't have to use the elevator, I guess. But as you can hear, uh, every last word of mine gets echoed back to me, which means I'm coming through loud and clear. If I whistle, it comes through even better. Hey, somebody get in here. I'm stuck on top of the elevator. And then every three minutes, a voice, an automated voice will come on the line and say, we're going to disconnect you unless you press number three or whatever. So you can stay on this thing as long as you want, as long as you keep hitting number three. Man, this sucks. I'm not hearing anything in the background. But I have an idea. I'm going to put their address into Google and look on Street View and see how big of a building this is. And it looks like it has not been built yet. To avoid disconnect, press 3 ah, now. That's the thing that happens every three minutes. But darn, both on uh, Street View and Google Maps. This place does not exist yet. You can see where they're getting ready to build it. Oh, the building is on either side, though. There are three stories. So this is a very small place. Hello! Somebody come out to the elevator! It's very important. Here, let me try setting off the alarm. Whoopee! 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 I don't think that got anybody's attention. We'll try the whoa alarm. Whoa! 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 Hello? To avoid disconnect, press three. Oh, I'm just gonna hang up now. I wonder what else I could hit besides three, though. Maybe if I hit number four, I could dial out or something. But I would never do anything like that. I'm just kidding. Not a hacker. Here's the fire department. Should I call up the fire department and just let them know that my house is currently not on fire? They'd probably think that's hilarious, wouldn't they? Hello? Hey, Karen? Hi, how are you? What? We are unable to take your call right now, so please leave your name, number, and time you called, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Hope you have an amazing day. Karen, it's it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Hello, are you home? Karen, Karen, hello, Karen, Karen. It's your neighbor. It's Roy. Hello, I have a question. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick it up. Pick 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 up. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hey, I was, I was calling for Karen. I can hear your birds in the background. Yeah, uh, Karen's not here. What can't tell? Uh, did you know your your phone number is right next to the fire department in the phone book? I accidentally called the fire department. <laughs> and uh, just to cover for it, I told them that uh, I don't currently have a fire in my house. Oh, okay. But I think they're going to come over anyway because they think I was being a smartass about my emergency. Right. Um. Do you, uh, this is Roy anyway, your neighbor. Yeah. Uh, I was in your backyard last night about four in the morning. Right. Okay. And I lost my, sh- I think it's like a small camper shovel. I left it behind. Okay. Did you see that back there? I'd have to look. I don't know. I, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't really look around to, at anything, you know, so I don't know yeah. if there's anything there or not. Yeah, I was, I was back there last night with the shovel, and uh, I think I might have just left it there when I got up and went home. Yeah, well, yeah, it might be. I mean, nobody picked it up. Well, how do you know you haven't been back there? Well, I haven't picked it up. <laughs> well, what if a thief, a thief walked through your yard, and they picked it Why up? What if, what if, like, a, a thief, they walked through your yard, and they picked it up? Well... 
I don't know. I guess it ain't there. Are you sure you're not the thief? I could be. Okay. All right. I'm going to wait for Karen. You're being weird. You do that. You're being weird. Okay. Just set the phone down, and when she gets home, tell her to pick it up. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to... Well, don't hang up. Hello? Hi, Catherine. Yes. It's Gary from the post office. Okay. Uh, we just noticed you don't have a uh, wheelchair ramp on your house yet, and you're getting that new postal carrier on Wednesday. I don't have a what now? A wheelchair ramp? Oh yeah, the new postal carrier. He's in a wheelchair, and you have to comply with the Disabilities Act, and you, you haven't put up a wheelchair ramp yet on your house. Okay. So when is that going to happen? Um, never. Never? But he, he's, ma'am, he's a cripple. So I know I said I was going to quit doing these wheelchair ram calls because it was too late and the post office is closed, but guess what? It's now the next day. I just edited what I did yesterday, and I think we need a few more calls on here to make this show complete. So I'm back in the phone book, dialing a different page of people. The number you have reached has... I'm getting a lot of answering machines and a lot of disconnected numbers. Hello? Hello, Janet? Yes. Uh, this is Steve Day from the post office. Mm-hmm. And uh, I needed to let you know, you're going to be getting a new carrier next week. A new ma- uh-huh. mail carrier. And uh-huh. he's in a wheelchair, ma'am. So you're going to have to be able to build a wheelchair ramp up to your house. He, he starts uh-huh. on Wednesday. And I have to build a, a wheelchair ramp. Yes, to get please. My mail. Can I put can I put a box out on the ground? Because I don't. I can't promise you I can Ma'am. get a wheelchair ramp. Built. Ma'am, a box on the ground. This is a human being we're talking about. Are you I'm gonna, not saying a box. You, you going to leave my, a bowl of water too? Oh, I, I finally reached somebody, and I go and screw it up. I'm having a terrible answer rate today. Hello. Please leave a message. She won't pick back up. I gotta give up on this idea. It used to work so easily. What happened? Hello? Hello, Shirley? Speaking. Oh, you sound really far away. What happened? Who, who, who is this? Oh, it's Steve from the post office. The post office? Yeah. Uh, you know you're getting a new postal carrier next week? No, I didn't know that. Oh, you are. Uh, he's going to be disabled, though. You need to build a wheelchair ramp up to the front, your front door. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Okay, you said I'm going to have to build a, 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 a ramp to the front door for what? Uh, to comply with the Disabilities Act of 2002, ma'am. Okay, well... Maybe the post office needs to build a ramp. Oh, no. No, we're, we're not going to pay for improvements to your house. You need to build that ramp. You need yeah. to have it done by Wednesday, ma'am. Yeah, okay. Well, see if it get done by Wednesday. Well, you know food, what? Just, you know what? If it doesn't, what? I'm going to call you up, and I'm going to yell at you. <laughs> Whatever. Get off my line. You want please. that? You don't want that, do you? Call whoever you want. It ain't no rent being built, and and it is, and my mail should still be delivered. What do you ha- done, do, you, do you hate disabled people? No, love them. It's I a, work a, with disabled people. Get off the line. I'm listening to some good music. Wow, you work with disabled people, <laughs> and you don't care Who if you're. Interrupting that. I'm interrupting what? What did she say? I'm interrupting. Let's find out. Get off the line. I'm listening to some good music, and you. Oh, she's listening to some good music and I'm interrupting it. Well, now I feel like I owe her an apology. Your call has been forwarded to an... But she doesn't want to answer, so whatever. Anyway, I'm giving up on day number two. I've given up two days in a row now on this concept. This has been the worst comeback idea I've ever tried to do. I do want to try and do this again someday. I just need a better list. And screw using phone books. I forgot how much that sucked. Nobody ever answers. I always have to scream at their machines. I mean, that's kind of fun if they pick up. But most of the time, they didn't pick up. I yelled at a lot of machines today and yesterday. 
Anyway, I'm done. Let's listen to a few voicemails and quit. Hey, motherfucker. Hey. The SSL certificate for MadhouseLive.com. Yeah, it's expired. So if you could get on fixing oh, that, that'd no. be great. Should be a motherfucker. All right, I love you. Bye. I don't think Madhouse has ever had a secure site, has it? I think it's always been non-secure. I'm going to it right now, and it looks totally normal to me. You may have just completely fucked yourself over by adding that S into your HTTP. It's going to think you always want to go to the secure version now, which has never existed. Like, for real, I don't think it was ever secure. Hopefully, some listeners can let me know if it was. But since all of his images work... And I'm able to click on this play button here on the Shoutcast machine. Uh, is he player. low to you, Neon? Yeah, he is. You see? You see? You see? That wouldn't work if it used to be secure and now it's not. Wait, is that true? No, it would work if that was secure. I don't have fuck to tell you on. I'm yelling. I'm fucking yelling. Shut up, Dwight. No, I, I think I'm totally wrong. That That might still work. It's the other way around that it wouldn't work. But anyway... I'm not going to secure Carlito's site. I don't want to. It's fine the way it is. I'm sorry if you can't do the Google podcast thing because of that, but his site was never secure. We have to leave it like it is in his memory. That's the reason. Brad, there's another fucking Merrick in the building. Real shit. Uh, I was yeah. just listening to episode 108 right now, bro. Real shit. That intro song, I know, like, I used to listen to it hella, bro, back when I was listening to, like, Back when, like, a few fucking years ago, I was listening to your shit. What God, intro? Damn, that fucking intro song every time got me harder than a hoe. Jesus Christ. I just listened to it right now for the first time in hella long. Oh, my Bobby Tim City, bro. It just... Oh, my God. This song is so good, bro. Oh, my that sounds for, nice. Like, all my language and whatnot. It's okay, though, because... Because what? He just whispered something to me. All right. So he says, episode 108... He has me curious because I want to get a huge boner over some intro song from 10 years ago. So here we go. Episode 108, Saturday Night Haircuts, After Show. Wait, I've done after shows on the Snowplow show? I don't remember this. Okay, so the, the original show is an hour and 17 minutes long, but then there's an after show that's three and a half hours long. What the hell is that? Who's on that? I'm not going to click that, though. Here we go. Maybe you'll never die, maybe you're gonna live forever and never if anything wrong with you. And this could be the intro song he's talking about. Till you do, you won't worry about it. This is MC Frontalot and Jonathan Colton. Cause you're probably fine, maybe you should pretend to forget to remember the bullet that's meant for you. Till it's overdue and it runs it through. Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time on Prank Call Nation. Cactus. 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 Playing game. Cactus. Cactus. Okay, I, I don't know if he's talking about that intro. He's probably talking about the MC Front a lot, Jonathan Colton thing, which is a pretty good song. Okay, we're back. Carlito, like they didn't believe that was a... Are you really you? Like, they don't think you're really on my show. Huh? I was drinking water. What? Oh, people in the chat room, they're saying you're not really live on the show. Yep, I am. It's, I'm live. That, See, look right here. I'm holding... That's Curtis on her Xbox. <laughs> that was the beginning of that after show. I had to click on it and see what it is. It looks like it's three and a half hours of me and Carlito, and I went to the halfway point, and I heard Jag TV in there. I bet you that was a fun time in 2014. Hey, it's Red Jumping. Uh, Clement says we want to know how long it took for the voicemail to actually start so we could gauge his timer on his voicemail or whatever. So, I have nothing to say. I oh. just wanted to see how long it takes. It's 27 seconds for anyone that's interested. Yeah. And the, 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 the call starts. It's 27 seconds. Bye. Yeah, today in Discord, Clement is, was wondering if all the time that I spend talking on the voicemails, outgoing message, does that count against his time? You know, his 30 seconds that he gets, and I freak out if he takes longer than 30 seconds. But I'm talking for 27 seconds on it, so that doesn't make any sense. Damn it, climate is. Your 30 seconds starts after the beep. Hey, Brad, call me Texas calling in. Hey. I just want to say, it's been a while since we've heard the, uh, the song you wrote, you know, the parody of, uh, 
you know, uh, eight six seven five three zero nine. Uh, so I forget the exact yeah. name of it. I apologize, but if you could pe- play the song where you know it's uh, where you're trying to find Jenny calling up. Okay, all- it's gonna happen on today on the end of today's show. It's gonna be the Jenny song. Hey there, Brad. This is Will from Asheville here. Hey, Will. I was, uh, listening to some old episodes in the archive and on an episode from March 2nd, 2015, there was a real amusing intro song that she used. I was wondering if you could bring it back, a little throwback, 2015. I don't think it's one I've ever heard before. Okay. Uh, or maybe just go check it out and get a chuckle for yourself. All right. But, uh, I'm, I'm all just, right, Brad. Thank you. I'm going to get the chuckle for myself. March 2nd, 2015. Why is everybody... Is this like a joke, you guys? Are you guys messing with me? Are you all going to make me go to different shows that have unremarkable intro music? This one is called What Do You Mean Ha Ha? It's episode 159. As far as we can tell, all power's been cut off everywhere. All <sighs> communications are out. And we got to listen to this first? Come on. Can I turn right 280? We can land runway right. 1 at Teterboro. We can't do it. Okay, which one way would you like at Teterboro? We're going to be in the husband. My name's Roy. Roy what? Jerbel. A Jerbel? Uh huh. Is that Dane in the background? Put Dane on the phone. No, I'm not even supposed to. My... You don't tell me to put you... Dane on the phone. You put Dane on the phone right now. Right now. Who the fuck do you. I want. Okay. Excuse me? You know, you heard me. Yeah. We, we caught you. I don't do drugs. Well, not I. Hey, not on me. I don't cut hair, ma'am. I'm in the corporate office. Oh, you're in the corporate office. Listen, sure. if you don't believe me, I have the password of the week. Yeah, sure. It's I'll see you later. Cactus, Cactus Fusion. Bye. Right. That's your opinion. I am. The, I'm the property manager. You're an idiot. It's Butt Street. Two point six gigs. I want twenty six hundred hertz. Oh, there you go. Good for you. Yep. Well, anyway, well, anyway, uh, call or send me an email when you can there, Tom. Otherwise, uh, yeah, no need to call anymore about this. Um. Uh, my name is Samantha. I'm from the um, Church of the Machine. We're going to eat M&M's. We're going to drink vodka, and then we're going to smoke marijuana. Hey. There, uh, I don't know. Okay, I've, I heard it. I wish I knew which one that was. Uh, you know, I would reuse it. As an intro. Hey, Brad, it's Okra from Texas. I just wanted to say, fuck you in your Amazon tent. Yeah. Bye, bye. Oh, yeah, fuck yours, too. Take that. Hey, uh, did you get the name Steve Dave from the movie Mallrats? Just curious. They stole it from me. Uh, have a good afternoon or night or morning. Oh, I will. Yeah, I stole that from Mallrats. I think I started using that when I started watching the Jay and Silent Bob cartoon, because that had a Steve Dave in it. Okay, last voicemail. Hey, it's Bill again from Massachusetts. Uh, I, I, um, you know, I'm never going to get caught up listening to all these darn programs. You got Good. between the Snowplow Show, Dabalinas, uh... It's okay, I don't do hardly any shows anymore. I know this now. There's a Brad's Cactus Shack. Yeah. And uh, not la.com. Everybody, go listen to Brad's Cactus Shack. What else is there? I actually did one this year. Yeah. I there's, don't know. There's a handful of them. I'm never gonna get caught. There's up. the hobo sods. There's what? the Beverly Bot Show. That's on phonelosers.com. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. I got plenty of listening to enjoy and uh, keep them coming. I will. Have a good afternoon. Someday you'll run out, and then you'll turn into one of those people in the comments that writes these huge diatribes about how Brad's washed up. He doesn't do funny pranks anymore. He hardly ever puts out a show. He's been replaced by AI. All right, I'm done with voicemails. Thank you, everybody, for leaving the voicemails. Today's show was brought to you by Lil Uzi Vert, Sim Speak, Fielden's Party Place, Big Mike, and Austin E. Thanks again, everybody, for supporting me on the Patreon, which is located at patreon.com slash phone losers. Here's a song by Redbox and the Chili Peppers. It's called Jenny's New Area Code, and this was requested by Call Me Cactus. When I was a kid, my friend Tommy told me he had a thing for this girl whose name was Jenny. They ended up together and she made him happy. She was the only one. I'm, 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 uh, uh, oh, oh, forget it. Goodbye.